Light and optics. Light, particle or wave. What is light? For centuries, this was the great dispute in the scientific world. Is light a particle or a wave? This question first arose in the 17th century, when Christian Huygens described light as a wave, while Isaac Newton believed that light must be made up of particles. With his corpuscular or particle theory, Newton was able to explain our perception of images. In his model, light particles travel in a straight line path from the light source to the next surface or back to our eye. This also explains the phenomenon of reflection. The wave-like properties of light can actually also be used to describe these processes. In contrast, interference and diffraction can only be explained when we consider light to be a wave. Interference always occurs when two or more waves interact with each other. Diffraction is the characteristic waves have of passing around objects to fill the space behind them. This helps us understand why it's never entirely dark behind an object. It also explains why Christian Huygens characterized light as a wave. Thomas Young's famous double slit experiment demonstrated the validity of this assumption and made it possible to determine the wavelength of light experimentally. In fact, light must be considered to be both a particle and a wave. This dual character of light is called wave-particle duality. Light particles are called photons, elementary particles that can also be thought of as energy packets. They're produced when an atom is excited and its electrons elevate to a higher energy level. When the electron eventually falls back to its original energy state, a photon is emitted, light is created. Roy Glauber explains the implications of the double slit experiment with respect to individual photons. If light is going to be a particle or consist of particles, those quanta are not going to split and go partially through each of the two holes in, in uh, Young's experiment. They have to go through the one hole or the other. And then the question is, how do you get fringes?